know what we need, like the guy said in the morning. They got to saturate these areas because they did it in Brockton. They brought the state police in. And not what Deborah Coelho told me that day when I called in and spoke with her. Yeah, we can call them. You know what? We need to get them in here, and we need them now. This is time. This is See, see we got to wait till the guy gets shot in his house, right? Yeah. That's what really aggravates me, you know what I mean? I'm tired of talking. I really am. All the work I did, I had to do it by myself, and I could have taken a bullet. And I can sit down with you in mail one day and tell you all about it, but I cleaned it up myself. But, you know, we shouldn't have to be cleaning it up. They they should do their job better than they're doing it. Not only that, the police, I, I still say they should be out there on foot. Not just, this is they're, they're only going to do this walk and talk thing when they have time. Okay, when they have time, that could be what? That's not going to be every day, right? No, I guess not. Well, then that's not a good program as far as I'm concerned. Okay, don't don't just jerk me around for your vote. You know what I mean? I don't want that. In other words, we did the seaport. We did the downtown. We, we put, got a lot of nice trees. It looks pretty. I'm fed up. I said it to you a, a, two weeks ago. I get all worked up. My blood pressure goes up. I'm fed up. You know, I got to walk these streets. You know, maybe we should make Mayor get out of his car and start walking and maybe get out of Butler Park area and come down here. All you right, know, don't... It, it, it's sickening already. He knows where the problems are. Put the... Saturate them areas and get it once and for all, get it over with and get them out of here. Like she, somebody else called up and said, get them back with their green cards, back where they came from. All right, my friend, I'm going to hold you right there. Go calm your blood pressure down.